professional tennis is filled with intense training, immense pressure, and pulsating competition. The hard work pays off for the best of the best because they rake in top dollars on the court and a gigantic amount of it is based off of endorsements. So, who are the highest paid tennis players in the world? In this video, we will discuss the top 10 highest paid tennis players in the world in 2022. Number 10, Venus Williams, $12 million. The older Williams sister has not featured on the court a lot in 2022. She only received a wild card for the 2022 US Open. Williams lost in the first round in straight sets to Alison Danoinfa. In the doubles, the Williams sister lost to the Czech duo of Linda Noskova and Lucy Hradecka. So how did Venus make the cut for the list? The American still has strong sponsorship deals. Her partners include Lacoste, Blue Cross Blue Shield, medical aesthetic device manufacturer Venus Concept and self-care brand Asutra, where she serves as the chief creative brand officer. Williams co-founded Happy Viking, which makes a meal replacement shake and has a lucrative deal as speaker with 30 dates planned for this year. Despite nearing the finish line in her tennis career, Venus has given fans hope of seeing her in 2023 because she has not announced retirement. Number 9. Carlos Alcaraz $12.6 million Carlitos has rocketed up the world singles rankings this year to number 1 from number 33 in January, becoming the first teenager in the open era to top the men's rankings. Alcaraz had a remarkable year, winning 57 of 70 matches, including 5 titles. The crowning achievement was winning his first Grand Slam title at the US Open, becoming the youngest men's US Open champion since Pete Sampras in 1990. Number 1 Carlos earned a whopping $7.6 million in on-court earnings and is seen as the star to carry the sport into the future. The Spaniard also earned another $5 million from endorsements who can't get enough of his potential to dominate the sport for a decade. In January 2020, he became an ambassador for Rolex, sponsorship from BMW, skincare brand It's Dean, and meat producer El Pozo Alimentation. We can expect Charlie to climb near the top of the rankings very soon with a success likely coming his way. Number 8. K Nishikori, $13.2 million Special K is not the spry young player that he was 5 years ago. And in it, 2022 was announced that he will be undergoing arthroscopic surgery on his left hip and has missed a season. However, like most modern aging players, he set himself nicely and is considered a marketing juggernaut. Nishikori's endorsement deals include a half dozen brands including Uniqlo, Japan Airlines, and Airweave Mattresses. The endorsement earnings will still keep him ahead of every tennis player not named Federer, Nadal, or Djokovic on the off-court leaderboard. We hope Nishikori has a healthy 2023, but if he doesn't, with his off-field earnings, it's not the end of the world. Number 7. Daniil Medvedev $16.1 million After winning the 2021 US Open, Medvedev backed it up with an impressive run to the Australian Open Finals. Medvedev won two titles in 2022 with a 45 and 19 win loss record and over $4.1 million in on field earnings. Medvedev could have earned more, but was banned from Wimbledon along with his fellow Russian teammates. All Russian players are having to walk a marketing tightrope as their country's invasion presses on, but Medvedev has held on to his sponsors, including Lacoste in two editions from last fall, gaming gear brand HyperX, and Chinese distillery Gojiao 1573. In Medvedev's favor, he resides in Monaco and his only sponsor based in Russia, Tinkoff Bank, has avoided Western sanctions. Medvedev finished the year on a four-match losing skid, losing in the opening round of the Paris Masters and losing all three of his round-robin matches in the ATP Finals and third set tiebreakers. This resulted in him dropping to world number seven in the year-end rankings, but expect a bounce back from this feisty character. Number six, Emma Raducanu, $18.7 million. Raducanu was an overnight sensation after her remarkable run in the 2021 US Open victory. She was plastered all over British tabloids and the toast of the entire kingdom. However, Raducanu has not quite matched her brilliance in 2022 due to injuries and playing with a spotlight on the rigorous tour. Raducanu failed to win a title but still scooped up 696,000 in prizes. Raducanu still has tremendous marketing appeal to the corporate world. Emma's sponsorship includes deals with British Airways, Dior, Evian, HSBC, Porsche, Tiffany, and Vodafone, joining Nike in her stable. 
Despite the lack of on-court success, these mega endorsement brands are eager to get in on the ground floor with a player they think could be a star for years. Do we expect Emma to grow and learn from this difficult season to become even stronger? Most definitely. Number 5. Novak Djokovic, 29.9 million. The Joker had a season for the ages in 2021 after winning the year's first three majors and falling just shy of the calendar year slam with a loss in the US Open final. Novak's 2022 had been a bumpy road because of his decision to forego the COVID-19 vaccine, which forced him to miss the Australian Open. Djokovic's season got a little worse when Pugo and UKG parted ways with the 21-time Grand Slam winner. Therefore, he is without patches on his sleeves, which is considered a lucrative real estate for sponsorship tennis. His vaccination status also required him to withdraw from the US Open warm-up this month and the major tournament. Still, Djokovic has a 42-7 record on the season and earned $9.9 million on the court in 2022, but fell to number 5 in the ranking. However, he still has a string of endorsements including ASICS, HEAD, Hublot, Lacoste, NetJets, and Raiffeisen Bank as sponsors. We bet that Novak is somewhere plotting how he will become number 1 in 2023. He is just that cerebral. Number 4. Rafael Nadal, $32.3 million. Nadal is considered a renaissance man because he continues to amaze the tennis world after winning the 2022 Australian and French Open. However, Nadal has struggled with a condition known as Muller-Weiss syndrome. His hunt for a calendar year Grand Slam ended in July when an abdominal tear forced him to withdraw from Wimbledon ahead of his semi-final match. But he got a financial lift from his Australian Open and French Open victories, earning him a combined $4.4 million. In total, Nadal has earned nearly $7.5 million in the calendar year. He also enjoys loyal sponsors including Nike, Kia, and Richard Meal watches, earning him a million of $25 million. Despite the injury, Nadal is not slowing down and expect him to aim for a record 15th French Open title next season. Number 3. Serena Williams, $35.1 million. Serena enjoyed an incredible atmosphere in her hometown tournament of the US Open in what had been anticipated as her last match. However, Williams informed the media that she plans to play in 2023, but whenever she does, she has laid a fine foundation for her post career. She will stay plenty busy with her firm Serena Ventures, which has investments in more than 60 startups and announced an inaugural fund of $111 million in March. Williams, who turns 41 next month, also still has endorsement deals with nearly a dozen brands, including Nike, Gucci, and Michelob Ultra. We can expect at least some of the sponsorship deals to continue well into her retirement from tennis. Serena earned over $35.1 million this year. That's a lot of zeros. Number 2. Naomi Osaka, $56.2 million. Osaka is a four-time Grand Slam winner, but her form has dipped in recent years. She has cited mental health issues and has struggled with injuries in 2022. However, at the end of the calendar year, she is ranked 42nd with $1.1 million in prize money and zero titles. Despite the struggles, she has earned over $55 million from endorsements and entrepreneurial pursuits. Osaka has endorsed nearly 20 brands, including recent additions to FTX, a cryptocurrency exchange, and Modern Health, a mental health platform. In May, Osaka and her longtime agent, Stuart DeGweed, founded a sports agency, Evolve, soon signing Australian tennis star Nick Kyrgios as a client. In June, she started a media company called Hanakuma in partnership with LeBron James Springhill Company. Also, she has a skincare line, Kinlo, which launched last September and recently started appearing on Walmart shelves. Osaka has quietly taken the throne as a top earning female athlete in the world. Let that sink in. Number 1. Roger Federer, $90 million. The Swiss maestro announced his retirement in September 2022 after confirming that his recovery from right knee surgery in 2021 had not been as good as he has hoped. Federer felt the perfect occasion to exit would be after playing a doubles match with his longtime rival, Rafael Nadal, at the Lava Cup. Team World win the point as we say goodbye to Roger Federer. Yet, Federer can be proud of what he has achieved in generating generational wealth for his family. Federer remains the sport's top pitchman with an unparalleled $90 million in annual off-court earnings from sponsors including Uniqlo, Credit Suisse, and Rolex. 
He also owns significant equity in On, the Swiss running shoe brand that went public last September. It will be hard to top Rogers' endorsements and just another reason why he is considered by many to be the GOAT. Who do you think will be the number one earning after Rogers' retirement? How soon will Carlos Alvarez be close to the number one spot on this list? Let me know in the comments section.